Okay, here we are again. The Waukesha, Wisconsin Christmas Massacre. This is just a, a great story. It, it just just keeps getting better every every moment. Here we have the Washington Post saying that the Wisconsin parade suspect was speeding from a knife fight. I, why? What do you mean, speeding from a knife fight? Like... Imagine you have a knife, and the person you want to stab has a car, and he's driving away. How, how does this make any sense? This is just this whole statement doesn't make any sense. And then you decide, well, there's a parade right there. The streets are all blocked off. That seems like the good. That sounds like a good route. I'll go that way to get away from this knife fight that I have to get away from somehow. So none of this makes any sense. Uh, and, and they're just trying to avoid saying what it was. It was a terrorist attack. It was a racist attack, a racial attack. It was a BLM terrorist attack. And no one wants to say that. I mean, look, they, they call it a parade. They don't even want to call it a Christmas parade. Uh, I'm, on every post I read, like, nobody wants to call it a Christmas parade. Like... Look right here, down here. And he, he was apparently just out on bail after trying to run his girlfriend over. Or wife or something. I like this meme right here. He didn't cross state lines. This guy right here looks just like my brother. It is freaky. It's just amazing how far the liberal media will go to try and pretend like what is happening isn't what's happening. A BLM rioter, protester, whatever you want to call it, was seeking out justice for the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. That's what happened. Nobody wants to say that. This was a terrorist attack, and, and you're just not going to see that anywhere. And I like how Biden comes out, and he says, <clears throat> he prays, the spirit of Thanksgiving will lift up families. Biden says at least 40 Americans are suffering from injuries, some of them critical condition, and the entire community is struggling struggling to cope with the horrific act of violence. Okay, you got that right. It was an act of violence. Last night, the pe people of Waukesha were gathered to celebrate the start of a season of hope and togetherness and Thanksgiving. It wasn't a Thanksgiving Day parade. It was a Christmas parade. But okay, let me move on here. He continued, This morning, Jill and I and the entire Biden family, and I'm sure all of us pray, that that same spirit is going to embrace and lift up all victims of this tragedy, bringing recovery from the injuries and wrapping the families of those who died in support of their community. This, the administration is mourning, monitoring the situation very closely, Biden added. You know what he didn't add? Unlike what Joe Biden added with Kyle Rittenhouse, is he didn't say that he's a racist. He said Kyle Rittenhouse was a racist. In the middle of Kyle Rittenhouse's trial, the president of the United States of America, I don't, who's a more influential person, comes out and says, yes, Kyle Rittenhouse is a, is a racist. And that's not supposed to influence the jury, and let alone every single American citizen. And yet... Oh, and also, he, he never came out to say, hey, people, stay calm and don't riot. Never said any of that. But in this situation, he forgets to add that this person is a racist and a terrorist. Maybe, maybe he'll do that during the trial. So here we have um, on NPR, at least they, they wrote the Christmas parade suspect. Here's what we know. Supposed to be a joyous occasion, turned to a tragedy, after he plowed into a crowd of people. About an hour into the festivities, suspect Daryl E. Brooks intentionally drove his maroon SUV through barricades into a crowd of people. The Waukesha Police Chief Daniel Thompson said at the news conference Monday morning, This doesn't sound like someone fleeing from a knife fight. 
Five people have died, 48 others were injured. They're still not... They all constantly fail to mention that there was children who were injured. The sus suspect was uh, almost immediately taken into custody. They failed to mention how that happened. Uh, essentially, people online, people on 4chan, used the video and uh, the picture of the vehicle and everything they could get, and they, they found his address. They found his address, like, immediately. Reported it to the police, and then the police were like, oh, we immediately found them. That's because you were told by people online how to find them. Otherwise, God knows if you would ever found them. So, Thompson explained that police missed a confrontation with Brooks moments before he set out on the deadly drive. So, he was apparently in some sort of domestic uh, dispute. Uh, the sus suspect prior to the incident was involved in a dom d domestic disturbance, which was minutes prior. Thompson told reporters, and the suspect left the scene just prior to our arrival at the dis domestic disturbance. And then, this police officer goes on to say, there is no evidence this was a terrorist incident. What do you mean there's no evidence? What, what evidence do you need? Do you need him to come out and say, I'm a terrorist? On, what's his name again? Daryl. Uh, Daryl Brooks's social media. He writes how to run white people over and get away with it. He, he has a post about that. So what do you mean there's no evidence? He just ran over people. How is that not a terrorist attack? Terrorism means it's connected in some way to, to politics you create you you commit a violent act to affect political change or to make some sort of political statement this is in wisconsin was it a day after carl rittenhouse was found innocent on all charges in wisconsin no relation uh, daryl brooks is a blm activist no no evidence there's evidence there's at least a ton of very suspicious substantial evidence at least there's that to say there's no evidence that this is just some random act well you're just making up you're just making up lies at that point the chief also identified those who died as virginia well whatever all these different people a lot of elderly people, 71, 79, 52, 81. Whew. Imagine that. You live to be 81 and you get run over. You get run over and murdered because you're white, because you're a Christian. This is, this is oppression, right? Finding white people who you want to hurt and then killing them. You're oppressing them. That's what this is. And it's just awful. This is an awful situation. And the media is just going to keep spinning this. So I implore all of you, don't believe it. Don't believe it. This is a terrorist attack. Well, they're going to try and say it's this, it's that. Um, it's anyone else's fault. But, but Black Lives Matter's fault and the corporate media's fault. That's that's who caused this. Corporate media instigated this. They knew what they were doing. And they hoped that eventually they would get someone to lose their mind. And, and this he apparently is in the middle of a domestic dispute. And angry enough to go, you know, F it. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go seek revenge uh, on white people for uh, Kyle Rittenhouse getting away with killing three black people. Which Kyle Rittenhouse never did. But that's what the media reported. So this is a horrible, horrible situation. It's a, uh, tragedy never feels like the right word to me. This is a horrible attack on on people, on white people, on American people. I, I'm not saying this is nece necessarily about uh, white people, uh, for instance. If those were black people in that parade, I, I think he would have still run them over. He chose this Christmas parade. These are Christians. He chose that. He saw that as an opportunity. Those are the people I want to kill. He wants to kill Christians. He wants to kill white people. And that's what he did. 
He apparently he got out on bail after trying to run his girlfriend over. I believe CNN they write something. Uh, Officers observed tire tracks on her left pant leg. The criminal complaint claims. So apparently he was let out on a very very low bail. They said an inappropriate low bail. Well, who did that? Who did that? In all these cities, New York, uh, Philadelphia, uh, the, all these big cities, California, uh, everywhere, they're, they're having these DAs win these elections, and these are leftist DAs, and they're just letting criminals out left and right, just letting them out, letting them out. And if you say, hey, why, why is crime raising, you know, rising in your area? And they go, well, it's because of COVID. That's because you're letting them out. And they're not just letting them out. They're doing so many things behind the scenes. Changing the rules so that they can report lower numbers. But all that does is, is it just raises the bar for criminals. Criminals, if, if you make it so that um, it's officially a car burglary uh, when there's $50 worth of stolen merchandise or damage, criminals will, will try to go right to that line. You know, right to that fifty-dollar line. Not, they don't want to go over the line because that's when you commit a crime and you, and you get arrested. They just try to really just hover around that area because that's where the that's the profit margin. If you change the law and say, well, now it's five hundred dollars worth of damage to the car or stolen property before we consider it a car burglary, and you did that so that now, at least for a long time, criminals they're not they're not going to commit. How you probably look at the numbers and you go, how, how what's what's the average damage and, and and stolen property number oh it's below 500 we're going to make it 500 now we can report less burglaries but the criminal right the criminal who's not stupid not always stupid they go hmm eventually they catch on i can steal 499 dollars worth of merchandise or i can mess this car up and i don't know they've been around my neighborhood they're they're taking out the catalytic converters with sawzalls underneath the cars that's probably less than five hundred dollars. I don't know. I can get away with all of this. They're going to go right to that line. Wherever you set the line, that's where they're going to go. And so these DAs, these these leftist activists, DAs, they're changing the rules. They're changing the laws. They're letting criminals out left and right. And the worst part is, even if people in the city would wise up and vote them out, which they're not doing, they just they keep voting them back in. They have not voted any of these people out. Uh, but if they did vote them out, it's kind of too late. You think that DA, once he got in there, he, he didn't bring all his friends in? He, he doesn't need to be there anymore. He's appointed judges, so many political, politically, politically appointed judges and commissioners of, of like police forces or, or jails or wherever. Politically appointed means I'm appointing you to this position. I can take that position away from you. You got to do what I tell you to do. That's what politically appointed really means. I want to put someone at the top and in charge who I can control. If you didn't want to control them, why did you pick that person? Let let um, people go up through the ranks and achieve the positions uh, in an organic way. But anyway, I'm, I'm just trying to say to everyone, don't fall for this. This is a terrorist attack. I don't know when or if they will ever call it a terrorist attack. Um, the media is is uh, reporting on this quite a bit because they have no choice. They try to cover things up. They try to lie early, which is what they always do. They try to steer your attention away, anything they can do, um, but they weren't able to. Too many um, independent sources like myself, other people on 4chan, other people on Twitter, other people on YouTube... They're not letting it go. They're, they're, as people delete their tweets, we save their tweets. We try to save their tweets, and we can bring them back up. Oh, he said this. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Here it is. And so that's happening left and right. People are saying the most unbelievable things, and it's an act of karma, so on and so forth. But just stay strong, people, and understand that this is a this is a terrorist act. This is this is a terrorist act. This is a real ter this is a, a mass killer using a vehicle and uh, committing a terrorist attack. This is a BLM inspired 
quite frankly, corporate media inspired terrorist attack on the American people. It's November. It's it's a few days away from Thanksgiving, so during the holidays, and you're going to see more of this. There's about to be another uh, another case, and uh, we'll see how that one goes. And uh, I guess I'll be reporting on that soon. And uh, there'll probably be. I have no doubt that there's going to be riots very soon. The media is working overtime. They they need to get their riots happening, and they're going to get them. There's going to be some kind of November December. Christmas riots. So we, we have a Christmas mac- massacre. And uh, I, I, I unfortunately, I think there's going to be more. I don't think this is the end of this. This is this is going to go on. And unfortunately, I, I'm not saying I want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. I would rather report on something wonderful and beautiful and nice. But that's not what's going on in the world right now. Everyone, have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.